mountain dog is a very popular breed for families across the world due to their well-renowned, loving and gentle nature. You may be getting a new puppy and are not quite sure the exact things you need and how to prepare. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you the things that you'll need and how to set yourself up for success as a calm and consistent canine leader. Welcome back to the Fenrir Bernie's Mountain Dog Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Franny and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Bernie's Mountain Dog. Then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect burners. So if you're a lifelong Bernie's Mountain Dog lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Bernie's Mountain Dog video. So let's jump right into today's video and find out exactly what the things are that you will need for your new puppy. Firstly, just to clarify, none of the products that may get a mention in this video have been sponsored. They're the products that we at Fenrir have tried and tested and feel confident in being some of the best out there for you and your puppy. So first and foremost, what we think is the most important thing to do before you pick up your new puppy from your breeder is to have a specific training program ready. Here at Fenrir, we believe the single most important thing to do when you're preparing for any new dog, whether that be a puppy or an adult dog, the moment you pick up your new dog, that is when the training starts. Dogs are intelligent animals and pick up and learn new behaviours quickly. We want these behaviours to be positive and not any bad habits that develop further into major behavioural issues, which become that bit more difficult to train when your dog is getting to become an adult dog. This is particularly true for the Bernese Mountain Dog, they're large, strong dogs. Having a specific regime in mind and ready to implement from the second you have your new pup is super important. It's so essential that you take time to research training way before you bring your dog home because the moment you pick them up you begin to train them and if you're unprepared and not sure how to train them then they can easily learn bad habits like I mentioned before. The next thing that you will need to be prepared for is feeding your dog and keeping them hydrated with fresh clean water. Depending on the breed of dog that you have the feeding can vary. The breeder may also have recommendations for you so do not be afraid to ask, they'll be happy to answer your questions about anything regarding your puppy, they are after the best for their pups. There are many different foods and diet types that you can give your puppy but what we recommend is that it's high quality and grain free food that is high in the required nutrients that your dog needs and keeps them happy and healthy. Again, it's important to research into this before getting your dog and to understand how feeding a puppy is different to feeding an adult dog. Your puppy will eat more regularly than an adult dog. Most adult dogs will have two meals a day whereas puppies tend to have a few spread throughout the day. It's essential you read packaging carefully and give your puppy the recommended amounts for their size and age. Now for beds and crates. For your puppy we recommend from experience that you get a bed which is comfortable for them but sturdy and well built because puppies chew. Due to teething your puppy will want to chew and have a bed which is reliable and well built so that it can reduce the chances of you having to keep buying them a new bed after they chewed the last one to pieces. Be sure to get a bed that is size relevant to your dog. The Bernese Mountain Dog grows into a large adult dog, but obviously as a puppy does not need a bed that size. Some great companies are Scruffs and Tuffies for beds. Tuffies do a travel bed which is very good for large breeds as you can use it as a bed that grows with your dog due to the ability to extend it. Plus, it's very helpful for travelling. When looking for a bed for your pup, you should look for excellent quality and comfort, which can be found at an affordable price. The use of puppy gates, pens and crates is under debate between different owners, but at the end of the day, it's your decision. Crates can be incredibly helpful when training your dog when they're used in a positive way. If you use the crate negatively like as a place of punishment, then it can make training really difficult and may cause problems for your dog, such as fear and anxiety. However, using it in a positive way can hugely benefit the training of your dog. It should be a safe and den-like place for your dog where they feel safe and secure, which will help with separation anxiety and also helps with toilet training your puppy. You can start with a small crate for your puppy or you can buy one that will fit them when they're an adult dog, but you need to use dividers in one of the larger sizes, otherwise toilet training is not possible as your pup may use one end of the crate to sleep and the other to do their business. Now for leads, collars, harnesses and all things related to walking your dog. There's a lot of debate surrounding which is the best thing to use for your dog and at what age you should use them. But through lots of research and discussion with professionals alongside a training regime, you can find the best one for you and your pup. 
At Fenray, training is command-based and we want our dog to look at us, a calm and consistent leader for guidance and with respect. There should be good communication to your dog and from your dog to you. Starting training with your puppy, you'll need to get them used to having something on their neck, so begin with a simple slip lead is a great place to start. Toilet training can take a bit of time depending on your breed, but what you definitely need is lots of poo bags. Puppies poo a lot and you need to be prepared to pick them up. I recommend looking for biodegradable poo bags as this is a way that dog owners can look after the planet and prevent plastic bags from damaging the environment. You can begin training your puppy to go to the toilet outside straight away or you can use puppy pads which can be really helpful if you're out all day. But they can sometimes cause confusion for your puppy so please be aware of this. Toys and training aids are the next thing that you'll need to get sorted for your puppy's arrival. Certain toys can be really great for teething, training, redirecting them from chewing furniture and also providing mental simulation as a whole. The Kong standard is a must have for all dog owners as it's sturdy and excellent quality toy that can be great for toilet training and for combating separation anxiety. The toys that are a bit more expensive will be higher quality and this means that they last much longer than cheaper toys due to the materials they're made from. Dog puzzles are pretty new to the market but they are a fantastic way to provide mental stimulation for your dog with varying levels of difficulty that can be done with or without you around. They're a fun and entertaining way and a great way to help combat separation anxiety. Finally, grooming products. The grooming products you get depends on the breed and the demand they have for grooming. The Bernese Mountain Dog is highly demanding when it comes to grooming due to its incredible double layer coat and dense qualities. They need to be brushed regularly in order to remove loose hairs and dirt from their coat and may need more regular baths than that of a breed with shorter hair. Plus, getting good quality dog shampoo that's sensitive and gentle on your dog's skin is really important. You can also get products for cleaning your dog's teeth, including toothpaste or dentist sticks. Your vet will help you with the worming and flea treatments for your puppy and you'll need to attend puppy checkups and get any outstanding vaccinations. The Bernese Mountain Dog is a very loving dog with a gentle, careful nature. This is a massive positive about this breed as they can make amazing family pets and companions and they're especially good with children of all ages. This is a quality that they're well renowned for, and they commonly become a close companion to the children in the family. The Burner is widely known for its kind, sweet and rather docile natures. Obviously as with all dog breeds you must socialise and train your pup properly from a young age in order to have a well balanced dog that gets along with all. Socialisation is key if you're bringing your dog into a relatively busy household where there's new people coming round or other animals. I highly recommend going through this channel and watching previous videos to find out even more about your new puppy and the breed in general. It's super important to be prepared and to understand the breed that you're going to be bringing home. Be as prepared as you can be to be an incredible canine leader and take it seriously but also enjoy the puppy stage because they grow up so fast. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget if you're new here make sure you subscribe as we have three dedicated burner videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Bernie's Mountain Dogs show.